Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Cutter Nolan is behind the camera. Hello. And welcome back. We're going to do another video. I wanted to get this out before uh, the, the NHL draft because I feel like depending on how things transpire, we could actually see one of these two players being moved at draft day as a part of a package to kind of just reshape the defensive core. So I want to talk about that. Um, also, by the way, if you are around during the NHL draft, go check out Peg City Hockey's channel. I'm going to be on the live stream with him, and we'll be watching the entire first round of the draft in where we have two first-round picks. Anyway, enough of that. On to the show, shall we? So, Logan Stanley and Billy Hanela, two former first-round picks for the Winnipeg Jets. In a time where we finally had our first definitive first-round bust in Christian Veselainen leave the club and go to the SHL, it is time to really think about two defensemen that can really make either an impact or a crater, shall we say, in the Winnipeg Jets defensive roster. Now, I'm not going to mention Dylan Sandberg because, personally speaking, I think Dylan Sandberg is the most definitive roster spot of the bunch, of the three, and should definitely be on the team next year, but who is possibly the sixth defenseman on the roster? I think it will come down to these two players. In the past, history has favored Logan Stanley as he has immensely more size and has exceedingly more playing time with the Winnipeg Jets over over Ville Hainala. However, the skill aspect is something that is up for debate. If you were to tell me, ask me, who I would rather put on the power play, I would say Vili Hainala. If you were to ask me who do, who would I put on a zone exit, I would say Vili Hainala. If you were to ask me who would be better equipped to win a puck battle, I'd say maybe Logan Stanley, but also possibly Vili Hainala. So, honestly, going through this, it's worth noting that both of these, as we said, are first round picks. And they had interesting starts to their careers. So at the time of drafting Logan Stanley, it was seen as more of a, they had to pick him instead of a, a real sleeper pick. It was one of those where it was like, okay, we see what you're doing. You're going for a six foot seven defenseman with a lot of size and possibly a lot more of a shutdown defender. And since then, he's been on the Jets for around... About two years, two full seasons on the active roster, starting in the COVID season and continuing in, on last season. And his production has been interesting. He recorded his first goal against the Calgary Flames on David Riddick, um, and then would score, would actually be somewhat of a semi-integral part in the tiny playoff run that the Winnipeg Jets went on, uh, recording around four points in eight games, and actually led the defenseman for the longest time in plus minus as he always seemed to be on the ice when a lot of things were going right and as rookie seasons go he had a good one um his second year though was a bit more frustrating so to speak um also fun fact he was pretty much the only guy that could beat carrie price he scored twice on him in one game wizardry i say but anyway his second season was a little bit less like most Winnipeg Jets, last year he had a bit of a backward step in his development. Uh, a lot of flaws really showed in his game. His inability to get the puck out of his own zone. Um, at oftentimes, his penalty killing wasn't really where it needed to be. However, that's not a big uh, shot against him. The penalty killing as a whole as for the Winnipeg Jets has been a black spot on the organization for the last three years. Um... They had him in a bottom four pairing role, and he kind of floated around that spot before finally, mercifully, actually being taken taken out of the roster in exchange for Dylan Sandberg. And he didn't really get back into it because of his play style and his struggling to adapt to the system that we were trying to run. Now, let's get back to him later. Let's go to Ville Hanela, the Finnish defenseman that honestly had an numerous amount of hype um the former uh defenseman of the tournament for the world junior championships with finland um he has been 
a standout on the Manitou Moose for a long time. And honestly, one of the biggest missed opportunities or what ifs, I think, for Villa Hanela's development is year one. We draft him. He looks like in, for what reporters would say, he looked like he was 12. Um, but then he goes and puts up five points in seven games, including his first career goal against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the Jets probably make the right move here and decide, no, we will not start his first year on his rookie contract this year. We wait it out. However, the problem is, is since then, he hasn't actually been able to really get any momentum in his career. He's, pl he's in the literal perfect limbo. He is just outside of a defenseman spot on the Winnipeg Jets, being the proverbial seventh defenseman, uh, formerly occupied by Sammy Niku, and freaking Nathan Bull, you actually. Um, and Sammy Niku is a bit of a daunting task as he was another defenseman that just did not work and didn't pan out. So, you know, a bit of a warning sign there. But he's also way too good to be in the AHL. If you watched Vili Hanala on the Manitoba Moose, you would be like, who the hell is this? He would take almost practice laps on the power play unit around and around the defensive group until he found a lane that he liked just to shoot and score. Billy Hanel on the Manitoba Moose is some sacred Pokemon that I cannot, for the life of me, understand how to unlock. And it's because of that insane development that he's always the next man up. Now, that comes with a bit of a caveat. In his time up with the Winnipeg Jets, he struggled. Sometimes his decision-making hasn't always been the best. They famously decided to put him with Nathan Beaulieu for a game. That was a, a freaking hellish experiment that should never be replicated ever again. Thank God Nathan Beaulieu is on the Penguins. But at the same time, it begs the question, will he ever break the mold? Now, with Rick Bonus coming in, I think this is a unique opportunity for Vili Hanula because Rick Bonus favors puck-moving defensemen. And depending on how this defensive core can shake up, and I think, honestly, we could have a bit... I think D Brendan Dillon is possible, possibly moving out, honestly, entirely of the, in the Winnipeg Jets. And I think with the cap space, I think it'd be all the more merrier. I think that leaves a lot of open space on the third pairing or the second pairing for a puck-moving defenseman. You could pretty much spread it out if you want to do Josh Morrissey, Neil Pionk, and... Billy Hanela, there's your three puck moving defensemen. We know Rick Bonus favors them as he loves giving his he may he loved giving his two main defensemen Miro Heiskanen and John Klingberg uh, minutes on the Dallas Stars, and they pretty much controlled the entire ice leading up to the Stanley Cup Final. Um, but honestly, with all that being said. I don't think it's a sure thing. If they go the safe route, they're going to trade Vili Hanela, and then once again, the Winnipeg Jets will have to look at another what-if situation. Either way, they're probably going to have to look at another what-if situation on having to trade away a, f a former first-round pick. And I really want to know down below, let us know in the comments, who do you want the Winnipeg Jets to move? Because personally, I think it's Logan Stanley's time to go. I think the Jets don't need him. But I think that he's enough of an enticing player now that you could bundle him up in a package to the point where teams think that they're getting someone that could at least be part of a, of a bottom four pairing. And I think that's better than a guy like Vili Hanula, where if he succeeds for another team, you're going to hear about it and you're going to regret it. So yeah, all in all, an interesting topic that I wanted to bring forward and I wanted to bring forward to Jets, fi Jets fans' minds. Let me know down below your thoughts on this. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Connor, you'll for Connor.